Hi guys, this is Master Sheath and today I'm gonna do another video. And today I'm gonna talk about the new Gamma case. So, the first things first, uh, all the videos from this video I guess is from HS. So, go sub on him. And uh, let's start about, uh, let's start uh, talking about the new knives. So there's uh, six new knives, yes. Not, not new knives, but knife finishes. And the first one is the Gamma Doppler skins. It's like the green Doppler, so it's really cool. Do I even have to explain? And it has like a few faces. I, 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 can't, I don't know how many faces, but it's a really cool knife. Next knife is the freehand skins. Well, this knife finish looks a bit weird. It's like a, a normal... It's like a purple knife with some weird, like... Graffiti or what on it, so... It's not a bad knife, but it's not really my style. The knife of the dead is the Lorf knives. And I love the Lorf knives. It remembers me so much of like... It's like a... Hybrid of a tiger truth and a dragon lore on a knife. It's like gold and it's not, and it's even the name is even lore. So, and then it's like a really nice green handle. At first, I didn't like the handle, but now when I watch it a little bit more, I like it. And there's a really nice tex texture on it, so really nice knife. Next knife is the Out Autotronic knives, I think it's called. And this is one of my new favorite knives because it's like the first futuristic knife. This would be really good if you want to make a, like a futuristic loadout. It feels like a Crimson Web and a Doppler hybrid and some futuristic stuff too, so it's really nice. And even more cool, every knife that it has on, it has like a different, doesn't look the same. If, if I would say it like that, like the gut knife I would say has the most details, that's a little bit weird, but... It's still a nice knife. Then it is the Brightwater knives. It's a, I, I would say it's a nice sheep. I would guess this will be like a sheep knife. I guess it's a nice sheep blue knife, if you like. And it would really fit on like, with a blue loadout, blue load with a sheep blue loadout. But it's a really knife. Still, uh, it's okay knife. Then we have the black laminate knives. They are actually quite cool. They're simple, but they look cool. They look like they look dangerous. They look like well, they look big. Let's so. say it look like it feels like it's a big knife. And yeah, I, I can't explain, but I kind of like them. I'm not the biggest fan, but they're not ugly. Okay, now let's start about the uh, now. Now I'm gonna. Talk about the skins, the weapons, skip weapon skins. The first one is the SG553 Aerial. I think this is like one of the best. This is a really good blue for first, and I think it's this is like one of my the, one of the best SG skins. I think it, the Cyrex is a little bit better, but this maybe be maybe the second or third best. So I I might even get this. It's a really nice blue. The next one is the Tech 9 Ice Cap. And it's also a nice blue. It, it's also a really good sheep blue, I guess, for if you want to make a blue loadout. I guess there's a lot of good blue skins in this case, maybe. I don't know. But it looks, uh, looks really cool. So, it's simple. The only thing I don't like, it, the, only, the skin is only on the barrel. But otherwise, it, it's a nice blue. The next one is the PP Bison Harvester. Yes, the skin that Valve uh, shows over all the other skins in the contest, in Polycon Customs. Con Polycon custom Contest. So, uh, it's not a. I would not say it's a. It has good details, but it's the color. It's color that like, destroys everything. And I think the mag magazine looks really, like, disgusting, per se, like that. It's still not a f bad skin, but. Uh, I don't get how they can add this instead of some other like cool blues or yeah or something like that in the, the con in sci-fi contest. It doesn't even look that much from a sci-fi 1780s 
70s and 80s sci-fi, so I don't know. It, it's it's okay, I guess. The next one is the P250 Ironclad. Well, I don't know what I think about this. It looks like it also looks really powerful because it's like made of steel. It's just, it's just a, like a green P250 made of steel. N nothing more to say. It's okay too. Then the next one is the Nova Exo. I actually quite like this one. I think this is a really nice blue. I, I, I like the I like the like these small details inside of the purple. That's the thing that I like the most. Otherwise, I, it would be all it's only okay. It's a it's a good blue, I would say. Not the best blue, but it's a good blue. Next one is the Mac 10 Carnivore. I think you say it. I don't really like this one. It looks like meat of a human, if you say it like that. With the muscles, so kind of looks really weird, I think. I don't know. Uh, it's I hope maybe it's one of the. It's not still. It's still not a super bad blue, but it's one of my least favorite in this case. Next one is the five seven violent, violent Damio. It's a. Uh, this is a really good blue. It's really detailed. The only thing I don't like about it, it, it feels a bit much too detailed. What I'm trying to say is like it's too much to look at it sometimes. I like the color and everything. Purple is a nice purple, but I still think it's a really good blue. So if you want a good blue 5.7, I would get this or the Urban Hazard. Next one, uh, now we're going starting with the restricted restricted skins. So first off is the R8 reboot. This is actually a really nice, nice skin for the R8. It looks like a Cyrex, but it's a little bit different. Maybe my new favorite R8. Doesn't have faded probably my favorite now. But uh, I think it's a really good purple actually. Next one is the Soul of Limelight. This skin is weird. Wait. The colors are nice. It's actually quite nice skin, but it's just not my style, so. It is a good it's a good purple, but it's just not my style, so I will probably I will probably not get it. The next one is the P90 Chopper. This skin is uh, awesome to, to me. It reminds me of like, I don't know, the fuel injector. I don't know how, but it just does that. And th I think there's an AK with that skin too on it too, and that's probably why I like it, and that AK is sick on the workshop, so. I think this is like one of my new favorite P90s. Maybe in bed, Trigon is my favorite, maybe. Yeah, maybe I even like this more, I don't know. The next one is the Aug Ash Aristocrat, I don't know how we say it. This is a, I would say, it's a detailed purple, but my, my, not my favorite. Like I said, it's a blue theme. This is like the blue case. <laughs> um, the nice thing about it, it looks like an, an, an anodized nav, nav, navy, but just with more detail on so it. Guess I would say that maybe it is. Yeah, it is a nice purple. The purples in this case are actually quite good. And the last purple I think is yeah, it's a light purple, and that's the. No, it's not a light. I don't know. Yeah, it's a light purple. It's the orb Phobos. This is this is easily the best purple orb, but the problem there's only three I think, so that's not. There's not much to take. It's better than the Worm God. The main problem with that, I think it will be like the new Worm God, everybody want to get it. So in the end, I won't probably get it because everybody will have it, I guess. But it's nice, it reminds me of... Like, it looks like a rail gun and it reminds me of the alien movies, like the big guns in that movie. In, that, in, the, in the movies, so yeah. It's a real nice purple. I said real nice a lot of times now. Okay, let's go into the pinks, or classified. First we have the P2000 Imperial Dragon. I think I'm kind of sure this is the same get that made the Gunichi Dragon and the Dueling Dragons. But I actually like, maybe like this. This is maybe one of my favorite of those because I really like the color. It looks like looks like it shoots fire or something. So it's real nice. It might actually be my new favorite P2000 P2K. May I think maybe I like Fire Limit a little bit more. Or maybe this. 
I probably like this a little bit more actually. And it's probably a little bit cheaper too, so it's a steal. It's a really nice thing. Next one is the Scar 20 Blood Sport. This is also a really good uh, pro pink. It reminds me of like a Japanese <laughs> because there's so much stuff on it, but it's still really nice. I like the like the orange color. It reminds me of the Cardiac, and Cardiac is my favorite scar, I think, or maybe this. This is probably my new favorite. Both of them. It's really close. It's like a 50-50. So, is this the best scar in the market? Maybe it is. Yeah, really nice actually. Uh, last pink. It's the M4A4 Desolate Space. What can I say? This is like the. This is totally. To me, this is the best M4A4, I think. Even better than the Howl and the Bullet Train. Because these are. Those are my favorites. This is on a pink too. So, and I even like it more than that. The thing I like the most, I like the skull, and then I. I love the like the small purple tentacles. So, <laughs> that sounds weird. Yeah, the tentacles, I guess. And I like the blue lightning. It's like the theme of it. Uh, now we're going to the coverts. There's two. Let's start with the M4A A1S Mecha Industries. It's a nice skin, but why did they add another M4A4 A4A A1S covert? It's like, what is it like? Six or five now? I think it's six maybe. Not the problem with the skin. The skin is. Quite nice. It's not the best, but it's okay. It's a good. It's a. It's okay cover, but like in last case, they had this Shantika fire. And like I think it was. I think it's before that they added the golden coil. I don't know if you guys before that they added the M4 S M4 A4 hyper beast. You should add more like. I think it should add more A. Maybe not that either. More like more covers to do more special weapons. It would be really cool if they added like a. A red famas or something like that, yeah. And the last skin in, in this video is gonna be the Glock 18 Wasteland Rebel. <laughs> this is the first uh, covert Glock, so that's good. But I don't know what I think about this skin. I love I love the text that is it killed them all. The Wasteland Rebels is okay. The AK is kind of good actually. But I don't know. I, I like the side, but I don't know what I think about the. The upper part. I think it's a little bit too bland for being a covert, but it's still a good. I think I still like the water elemental and the fade more in this, but maybe, maybe, maybe I will like this a little bit more than water elemental. I haven't played with it, so I can't say it right now. Yeah, but that was like everything in the case, I think. Yeah. So, what I, ho I, I guess the next case will be the operation. The next operation. I'm pretty sure about that. And I hope they don't. The operation isn't ended yet, but ho I hope they do like, like only like a few weeks before until the next one. So, I, I why I'm getting off topic now. But uh, by the way, um, this is our. It's, this is a really good case. I think it's still it's better. I think it's better than the Chromat Trace Three and stuff like that, with the Wildfire. So it's one of my new favorite cases, I guess. Yeah. Um, I will see you next time and goodbye. <laughs>